that's how I ended up in a ditch that night. It was a mad story, okay? I know, that's crazy. Oh, man. Okay. Get down to the bottom of this. First, we need to figure out how long this body's been sitting and who it is. Well, I remember a class I took in high school. It was a human body something. <laughs> oh, that's been years. You think you'll remember all oh, that? Oh, Sam, stop joking about my age. Well, <laughs> oh man. I can teach you how to do it, I guess. I guess you could try. Oh. Alright, so we have here. A model of a muscle contraction, okay? So it all starts in the brain. The brain is gonna say, hey, send some uh, messages down where the muscle to contract. So it's gonna sound, uh, send uh, action potentials from neuron to neuron. It's gonna come here to the neuromuscular junction where um, a, uh, oh, the message gets to the receptor, turns into um, acetylcholine. The acetylcholine goes down the T tubule to release a calcium ion from the sarcoplasmic reticulum, right there. <laughs> this uh, goes to the, it binds to the troponin on the thin actin filament. Um, it's gonna bind to the troponin and cause tropomyosin to uh, open up the binding site so that the myosin head can uh, bind. So anyway, when your body does cellular respiration, it creates ATP. So this ATP is going to help the myosin head to bind to the actin. That is going to hydrolyze and cause the myosin to do a, or the myosin head to do a power stroke and cause the sarcomere to shrink. Go ahead, Stan. Thanks. Thanks, Tom. Anytime. Appreciate it. Good work. Okay, so you see that it shrinks in. All right, then that's gonna get replaced with another ATP and cause it to move back out. Go ahead. Which causes the muscle contraction, all right? Did you get that? I got that. It's a little bit complicated, but I think it's pretty pretty easy to remember. Thanks. Um, but how does rigor mortis impact it? Okay, so you see, your body creates ATP. When you die, your body doesn't create that anymore. So when it gets binded there, let me use some crazy glue on this. <laughs> Sticks there, and uh, look at that. It can't move. Your muscles stiff. <laughs> do you get that, Stan? I do. Your body can't I create any more ATP. This now. is why it's making more sense now. The cardiac muscle in your heart can't uh, pump any more blood so you die. The smooth muscle in your stomach lining can't um, digest any more food. So as you can see, it affects other systems than just your muscles. Wait, Don, you need to tell me you found all this out in human body, what? Something, I don't remember, 50 years ago? Oh, shit. oh man. Yeah, do you get that? Yeah, so this means that the body that's been laying here has been laying here for six hours? <laughs> You're darn right. Good job. Wow, I thought that smell was just you. Oh, no, it's a dead body. We get a little hair on. <laughs> Stop flirting with me. <laughs> We've solved the crime. Another yeah. line has been saved.